Unfortunately, the Supreme Court has made it very difficult, made the road ahead, you know, very rocky. A grassroots initiative on hold for now after a ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court. Reclaim Idaho has been working to gather signatures to get an education funding initiative on the November ballot. A district judge previously ruled in favor of the group, allowing them to gather online signatures in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. The state of Idaho appealed to the Ninth Circuit, who, sets, who is set to hear the case in a few weeks. But today, the highest court in the land issued a temporary stay on the initiative. So what does this mean for Reclaim Idaho and its efforts? Misty Inglet joins us now tonight. Misty. Well, Kim, in short, the Supreme Court ruling doesn't end the initiative altogether. However, it will more than likely not be on the November ballot and instead we'll have to wait until sometime next year. I did speak with one of the co-founders of Reclaim Idaho who calls the ruling disheartening. A ruling from the U.S. Supreme Court on Thursday issues a stay on Reclaim Idaho's school funding initiative, which aims to raise $170 million for K-12 education. We are shocked uh, that the court has taken this extraordinary action. Um, the court has decided to intervene in the normal judicial procedure and not allow the normal procedure to run its course. It is very disheartening that the court has decided to clamp down on a grassroots campaign with thousands of supporters all across the state of Idaho. While Reclaim Idaho can legally continue gathering signatures, former Idaho Attorney General David Leroy says those signatures wouldn't do any good. The stay means these signatures can't be verified or counted by the state of Idaho until a final decision is made by the courts. This stay allows the state of Idaho to enforce its statutory provisions which include uh, cutting off the submission of signatures. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is set to hear the case August 13th, but Leroy says even if they were to rule in favor of Reclaim Idaho and do so quickly, the stay would still have to be lifted by the U.S. Supreme Court. Signatures would still need to be verified all by an early September deadline, which is not enough time. In a practical sense, this is a complete victory for the state of Idaho. Governor Brad Little issued this statement on the ruling. Quote, I am pleased the Supreme Court upheld Idaho's sovereignty over its election and initiative processes. It is important that initiatives follow the laws set by the Idaho legislature so we can ensure those initiatives that get on the ballot are legitimate and have significant support throughout Idaho. End quote. Reclaim Idaho says they'll have to regroup. Based on the timeline, it's not likely this initiative will show up on November ballots, but it's not going away. In the long term, we are not losing hope. The path ahead is uncertain for us, but regardless of whether those in power continue to block our efforts, we at Reclaim Idaho are going to keep on working for adequately funded schools in this state. Again, if the Ninth Circuit were to rule in favor of Reclaim Idaho, that stay by the Supreme Court would still need to be lifted. Whatever decision the Ninth Circuit does make could potentially be appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, who would then have to decide whether or not to even hear the case. And Leroy says all of that could potentially take months, maybe even up to a year to work through. Kim? So, Misty, the game's not over yet, although it's a major setback, it sounds like, for Reclaim Idaho. Misty, thank you. Okay, so what would that ballot initiative have have done. It's a funding initiative, as we mentioned, and they wanted to increase the corporate tax rate as well as those who make more than $250,000 per year, again, to fund education, to increase the funding in the state. And if it makes it on the ballot, it would then need to be approved by a majority of Idaho voters.